Welcome to a quick piece of background information for the instructional design course. So far you have been exposed to instructional design theory as well as technology skills. So I want to kind of put the pieces of the puzzle together for you here. The first thing of course is that we are studying instructional design but I often like to think of it as instruction by design. So not only do we need to master the types of tools that we have available such as presentation, interactive tools, and assessment tools, but we also need to become experts at creating compelling visuals and that often entails understanding a bit about color, contrast, repetition, alignment, balance, and style. And then we also need to become experts at delivering our content, whether that's through a content management system such as WordPress or a learning management sy system such as Moodle. These all get delivered by the internet and we do need to become experts at all of that. And of course, we need to bring to together some content that is compelling for our students, and that might be in the way of a discovery activity, questioning activity, problem solving activity, and above all, we need to make it relevant to our students. And last and most importantly, we need to bring to the table our understanding of various learning theories such as Bloom's differentiated instruction and understanding by design. For, our, for us, our challenge is to pull it all together. We need to leverage online resources, we need to be lifelong learners, and we need to take risks. The following are sources for some of this material, and I hope you have a better perspective of learning by design.